Hello everyone and welcome to this virtual tour of Central College in Pella, Iowa. I'm Yuan Bank from Littleton, Colorado, an elementary ed major and a junior here at Central. And my name is John Horner. I'm a senior mathematics major from South Sioux City, Nebraska. So if you don't know much about Central College, Central College has about 1,200 students on campus. It's a four-year college. Uh, it's purposely residential, so that means that you're going to be living on campus all four years, which I love it. I'll tell you a little bit more about that as we're going. Over to our right, we have Graham Conference Center, and it is attached to Graham Hall, which I will show you later. Graham Conference Center usually holds our school dances and some events. We also have Scholar Day in there, so you might be back on campus then too. So the next residence hall that I'll be showing you is Graham Hall. This is our all-girls residence hall on campus. Alright, this is a Graham room. All Graham rooms have huge closet space in there and then on top. You come in a little bit more. Every single Graham room has a sink and then a mirror inside of it. So if you brush your teeth, you don't have to go into the community bathrooms. Also in Graham, we have high ceilings, big windows, and then all of our furniture is movable. So you can stack your beds just like this, or you can take them down and relock them. So this is one of the Graham lounges. A lot of the times, people have bachelorette viewing parties, so they sit here and watch The Bachelorette or The Bachelor. Uh, it's just another community-based place that you can come. So we'll look both ways, check twice, and we'll go across the street to Sculpey Hall. So this is Sculpey Hall. This is a underclassman co-ed residence hall. This is one of the ground floor lounge areas. Uh, so like I said, with Central being a purposely residential college, every residence hall comes equipped with a full service kitchen like this one. So you can always make your own meals if you don't feel like going over to the Central Market one night for dinner. I know my freshman year, my friends and I were on a really big lasagna kick. So we would all throw in some money and we'd go get one of those big frozen lasagnas from Walmart and just throw it in the oven and have Sunday dinner. So that was really fun. So one other great aspect of Sculpty, and all the residence halls on campus for that matter, is that laundry is entirely free. So all you need is some dirty clothes and some Tide Pods. All right, so this is a good example of a suite style room in Sculpty. Uh, suite style means that there's, there's gonna be two dorm rooms sharing one bathroom. Uh, that's the way that a lot of the rooms in Sculpty are arranged. So it's really nice that you get to know your suite mates really closely as well as your roommate. So, Every room in Sculpty has air conditioning, which is a huge plus. In addition to that, Sculpty has wired internet and cable connection throughout, as well as Wi-Fi that runs throughout the entirety of campus. Over to our left, this is Jordan Hall. It is one of our oldest buildings on campus, along with Central Hall. Jordan Hall houses our history and English departments. On the second level, that's where all of the professor's offices are. And it's really cool just to see all the new technology with the old architecture in it. So this is the Maytag Student Center. This is essentially the student union on campus. So this is just a main hub on campus where a lot of students will gather. Uh, it has a lot of administrative offices as well as student services. So as you can tell behind me, there's a lot of tables and chairs that are scattered throughout the Maytag Student Center. So this is always a really good place to just sit down and work on some homework, say hi to friends. You see a lot of them because it's kind of the main hub on campus. So right here, we have the Central College Spirit Shop. You can always go in there, get really any gear that you need. Shirts, sweatshirts, sweatpants, shorts. As well as that, they also sell a little bit of school supplies like loose leaf paper, binders, pens, pencils, stuff like that. So if you ever need something, you can always go in there. So down this way, we have the Central Post Office. And I will say that the post office is my favorite aspect of Central College, or one of them at least. It's really nice having a full service post office on a small campus like this. It's something that you won't run into very often, so it's super nice to have. Plus, my mom has somewhere to send her uh, care packages, so I appreciate that. Shout out, mom. 
All right, so now I'm gonna walk you through a lot of the administrative offices that are located on the second floor of the Maytag Student Center. So there's a lot, so just bear with me. And again, if you miss something, you can always click rewind. So up in this corner, we have the Student Support Services Office. So that is where you might go if uh, you need untimed testing, or if you need an emotional support animal, uh, or if you're just having trouble acclimating to college, you can always get in contact with one of the workers in there, and they will do everything to help you be as successful as you possibly can. Located right next to there is the Central Counseling Center. Central has two full-time counselors on staff that are always available to talk to you. If there's something that you're going through during your time on campus, or again, if you're having trouble acclimating to college, you always have somebody to talk to, which is a really, really nice amenity on campus that Central does a great job of providing to us. So right beyond the Office of Student Involvement is the Class Dean Suite. So the class dean is really just a resource for your graduating class. And I would definitely recommend getting to know yours. They can help you network. They can help you find internships. Uh, they can help you find a summer job if you need it. Uh, really anything that you need help with, they are just a really, really good resource for you to utilize throughout your four years at Central Life. Downstairs in the basement of Maytag, we have a 24-hour fitness center that any faculty and student can use at any time. We usually have events on campus during the weekends that CAB puts on, which is Campus Activities Board. And then we have over a hundred clubs. So we go to events like that. We also go to sporting events on the weekends. Long story short, there's always something to do on campus. There's always a club that you can get involved in. So you won't get bored. I can almost assure you of that. If we keep walking down here, We'll run into Fred's, which is one of the three dining options on campus. So Fred's is open for meal plan usage when the central market isn't. So if you are practicing late one night and you miss dinner in the central market, you can always come here, use your meal swipe and get a hamburger, chicken strips, uh, pretty much basic grill food, which is really nice. In addition to that, you might be able to tell that they got a lot of different grab and go items like cereal, but chips, candy, whole bunch of different stuff. I would definitely recommend the Philly steak with fries. So if you look back there, you'll be able to see the Central Market. So the Central Market is the main dining option on campus. And I will say that I absolutely love the food on campus. Since my freshman year, it has gotten so good. They do lots of different cook to order things. My favorite is the cook to order burger bar. They do a lot of different really good burgers. For breakfast, they'll do cooked order omelets, cooked order scrambled eggs. They also do cooked order brisket quesadillas, which are really good for lunchtime, as well as cooked order Mongolian on Fridays. The building to our right is Lover Center for Visual Arts. Lovers is all of our arts classes. And then on the back side of Lover Center is our glass blowing studio. And you can actually take a class for glass blowing. So behind me is the pond on campus. The pond is home to a lot of different traditions, the most notable of which is probably the lemming race. What that typically consists of is if you choose to participate, you will dress up in some sort of a costume, you'll run from the library down Peace Mall into the pond, then you'll climb onto the island and you'll turn around and sing the fight song. It's super duper fun. It kicks off homecoming week, which is just a really exciting time to be on campus. So that's a really great tradition. All right, so we're looking down Peace Mall right now. Uh, Peace Mall is kind of the main street on campus. So there's some dorms that line it, as well as the chapel. You see a lot of friends here, so always stop and say hi. This is Goss Hall. This is one of our co-ed residence halls on campus, and it's more centrally located on campus as well. So a lot of students like to live in there. It also houses our biggest rooms and closets on campus. I always get jealous of the big closet part of that. I have a lot of clothes and not enough room. On our left, we have our newly renovated amphitheater. It is used for our classes, and then also the chapel uses it. All right, so we've seen a lot of the campus life aspect of Central College, but now we're gonna get into a little bit more of the academic side of Central College. So right now we're walking into the Geisler Library. 
On the ground floor of the library is the Global Cafe at Geisler. So this is really just a full service coffee shop right on campus. It's really nice that uh, you have a coffee shop on campus as opposed to having to go into town to get a latte or a tea or something like that. So here we have the second floor of the library. We have our collaborative space and then we also have our librarians who are a great resource for you to use as well as some online databases that they can help you navigate with. Upstairs on the third floor of the library is where all of the books are kept and we also have 22 individual study rooms that you can utilize. Back on the second floor we have room 202 which is our free tutoring and writing center. All of our tutors are students that have been in the same classes and they can help you with studying techniques and also just with homework questions that you have. So over here we have the Crudenier Theater Center. As far as theater goes, the theater department does a good job of putting on shows throughout the school year. They typically put on about five a year. Uh, they're really good, really enjoyable, also a very good date night, I might say. And then kind of close to the Crudenier Center is the Cox Snow Music Hall. So music is fairly popular on campus. So we have choir, we have band, we have wind ensemble, and they all put on different concerts throughout the school year as well. All right, so now we are in the Vermeer Science Center. The Vermeer Science Center is home to chemistry, biology, biochemistry, computer science, math, and physics. So there are a lot of different courses that are taught in this building. Over this way, we have the professor's offices. So you can tell that outside of the professor's offices, there's a lot of student workspace. So tables, chairs, as well as a whiteboard. I will say that that workspace outside of the professor's offices has actually been one of my favorite aspects of Central College, just because you feel like you're so much more engaged in your learning when you have a good faculty-student connection. going into is Rowe Center. Rowe houses our education departments, our political science departments, communications, and some psychology classes. Behind me, we have the bird cage, which is just another study area for people to utilize. Rowe is also a LEED certified building. One thing that makes it a LEED certified building is that it is a smart building. So in each row room, we have a temperature controller, which changes based off of the number of people are in each room, which makes the building very energy efficient. Our student to faculty ratio is 14 to one. So the students really get to know their professors and then get to know their peers. I've even had a class that only has six people. The reason why I came to Central was mostly for the education program. I wanted to become a teacher and they had an amazing program that was recognized in the state of Iowa. And then also I compete in track at Central. So they recruited me to be a triple jumper. Um, and it's really fun to be here. I love the environment of Central and the homey feeling, especially being from Colorado. Originally my senior year, I wasn't really looking at a small school like Central. Um, and then I got a recruiting email for baseball and I came on campus and it was kind of like that moment in a book where one character sees the other character that they're supposed to be with and it just kind of clicks, if I could snap my fingers. But uh, yeah, it was just kind of love at first sight for me and that's why I'm here. Athletics Complex Atrium. In Kuiper, we have a newly renovated wrestling center and hitting cages for golf, baseball, and softball to utilize. We have 13 sports teams, including the newly added triathlon. Central has also hosted more NCAA championships than any other Iowa college. All right. 
to my left is the Kuiper Athletic Complex weight room. So this is primarily the athletic weight room, but it's also open to all students. Central also has two full-time strength coaches that are a great resource for all athletes as well as students. So if you aren't an athlete, you can always get in contact with one of the strength coaches and they might be able to help you with a workout plan or nutrition counseling. The Central College Dutch have won 11 national championships, over 180 American Rivers Conference championships, and we've had over 500 All-Americans go through Central College. The last academic building that I'm going to show you is Weller. Weller is the Center for Business and International Studies. As you can see, Central has a lot to offer on campus. I might be a little bit biased, but I think that Central is a pretty great place. So I hope that you'll make the decision to come visit on campus and see all that Central has to offer. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.